Welcome back to Mumbo's Collectos. Today we're having a look at the Magic Mixies Mixlings. Jodie Dyson, this video is for you. Now these have been out for quite a while, so you've probably all heard of Magic Mixies. They have all different types, miniature ones, all the way up to ones that cost up to over $100. Not sure who is buying those ones, but they are selling, so people must be buying them. As for these, I'm not really sure if this is my cup of tea, but let's unbox it and I'll give my thoughts at the end. Here's the booklet. Looks like there are two figurines in here and it's a tap and reveal cauldron. Here are the instructions and it looks like there are five steps to reveal the characters. <sighs> that was extremely hard to open. Why do they make them so hard? So there is a magic wand in here. There's another booklet of instructions. And looks like you can get morphlings, enchanters, flyers, spellsters, and vanishes, all different types. Now we pull this out. Press the button or rub the button. Can't really see anything. Hopefully you can see that on video. It's a bit hard to see, but it's a light moon coming up there. Pop the wand on here. Whoa. All right, and there you can see. So it must just be a magnet that's in here. There's another booklet in here. And looks like there is quite a lot of these to collect in this series. Look at all of them. It is nice having a colored version so you can see them. We got another wand. And I guess the wands are quite pretty. Here's the first figurine and looks like the eyes move. That's quite different. Normal eyes, star eyes. tail moves and this one is an enchanters as you can see so it looks like you put the wand on it and it's supposed to do something oh it probably just moves the eyes just like that looks like this one is called tawny this one right here this is part of the enchanters set power future sight and here's the other figurine this one I think is actually made a bit better than the first one, even though the eyes on this don't move. And this one here is Goru. This one here, part of the Spellsters. So you can see here Spellsters, looks like it's glow in the dark. So let's try that. Definitely glows in the dark, the gem on her head and the hands. Welcome to my final thoughts. The figurines themselves are made quite well. There's no paint manufacturing flaws on this one. It is quite solid, so quite nice. Whereas this one is quite light because it has the moving eyes, so it has to be hollow. And you can see there's some paint manufacturing flaws there, but this is meant to be aimed at kids. I do quite like the wands, and this one has the magnet inside, which is quite powerful actually. So you can interact with the toy itself. And then I guess this one doesn't do anything, but it is nice to have one wand for each figurine. So for $10, what you get, this is really good, really good quality. $10, you get all of this. It's quite interactive. I really like how they have all the different groups and each group has their own special magic, which I have never seen before. I've been opening toys for quite a while. Yes, mostly adorables, but this is, they've actually thought about the design here. So this is quite good. The cauldron itself you can reuse. You can just push this back like so, 
and then it just opens there. So if you wanted to, you could put the figurines back inside and store it that way. You can probably put this key back in too and let's see if it will stop it opening. Yeah, so there you go. Put the key back in and then it is locked. So there you have it. I bought this for $10 at Kmart. I think everyone knows that if you want to buy the cheapest toys, you go to Kmart. I am really pleasantly surprised with this. I think for $10, this is really good value because of all the interactive aspects. Now, as an adult in her 40s, this is probably a bit too kiddy for me, as I said, but I'm pretty sure my daughters will love this and they're going to get this toy as soon as I finish this video. I'm not sure yet, but I might have a look at the really miniature ones that you can buy. Uh, probably still a bit too kiddy for me, but we'll see. I might do a later video in future. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you made it all the way to the end, thanks so much. It really helps the algorithm out and helps me to keep making more videos for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe or share the video with your friends because that also helps the channel. Thanks again to Jody for suggesting this product. And if you'd like to see me unbox something else, send me a message. P.S. I will do some Thomas and Friends videos very soon. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Woohoo! <laughs>